Persephone was the daughter of Demeter, the goddess of agriculture. Persephone was always searching for adventure, and despite her mother's warnings, she ran away from home to find it. Persephone was trapped deep in the underworld, where neither her mother nor Hades, the god of that underworld, could save her. Get away, please! Would Persephone be able to escape, or would her recklessness trap her in the darkness of the underworld forever? The great myths tell us that Persephone loved life and was always anxious for a new experience. Demeter loved her daughter with all her heart, but she was very busy with her work and couldn't always keep a watchful eye on Persephone. Demeter made the fields ripe with wheat and the gardens lush with vegetation. She worked tirelessly to feed a hungry world. Why? What? The bounty of the earth is not here for your amusement. Ha! Huh. Don't like me smashing melons. Well, how about this? <laughs> For what you have done, you must be punished! For his disrespect to a god, the boy paid a terrible price. He was forced deep into the earth, where he would live far from the world of sunlight for the rest of his days. There was one thing that worried Demeter even more than her harvest. And that was her daughter's constant search for adventure. Persephone! Persephone! Persephone longed to explore the world around her. And sometimes Persephone acted recklessly. Ah! Oh, oh, that was wild! Water! Oh, I could do with a refreshing drink. Persephone did not realize she was being observed by someone far beneath the earth. He was the god, Hades. What is it, Cerberus? Hmm. That's Persephone, the daughter of Demeter. Isn't she beautiful, Cerberus? Look at her! She's so young and alive. Her eyes shine like sapphires. Her hair like amber. <sighs> I wish she could join me here in my dark kingdom. But who am I fooling? She would never come to me. If I could just touch her. Come on, Mother. You've made it rain for a week now. Please let the sun shine. If not for me, then for the mortals. You'll ruin their harvest. I'll stop the rain as soon as you promise to stop disobeying me and wandering off. But, Mother, there's so much out there to explore. And it's full of danger for those who are not cautious. Promise? All right, I promise. There you are. It's only because I love you so much and I want to keep you safe. Look, I've made you a necklace out of pomegranate seeds. It's your favorite fruit. Now, I must go and dry out the fields after the rain, so you remember your promise. Why can't I have a life of my own? As time went by, Persephone grew frustrated by her confinement, and even though she had promised not to leave, she began to dream of freedom and adventure. She has so much work to do. She won't miss me. Sorry, Mother. But I'll be back someday. Reckless youth and inexperience caused Persephone not to heed her mother's warnings and Persephone defiantly sought out her own great adventure. <sighs> Persephone! This time, I'll make her see me. Do I look all right? Who are you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. <clears throat> I am a king. A king? But 
Where is your kingdom? And how can you live beneath the water? Ah, well, this pool is only a window to my world, which stretches far under the earth. But it's a lonely kingdom, I'm afraid. You see, I don't have a queen. Oh, why is that? No one will accept my offer. They fear they'll tire of this dark land and want to return to the world above. I can't blame them. I suppose it's better to have never known love than to have loved and lost. That's silly. Once you've known love, even a little, you can never be truly lonely again. Besides, how bad can your kingdom be? It is gloomy in here. I'll prove to you that once you have loved, you can never be lonely. I will stay with you for a while, and we will laugh and dance and become great friends. And when I leave, you will have memories to warm the rest of your days. You're certain? Absolutely. Then I accept your offer. Well, I wanted my freedom, and my mother will never find me here. Welcome to my kingdom, Persephone. <gasps> Don't be afraid. You're safe with me. Persephone! Persephone! When Demeter returned from her labors and discovered that her beloved Persephone had gone, her grief was overwhelming. She no longer wore her ribbons and bright colors. Her laughter was no longer heard in the fields. Demeter flew to far off lands searching for her daughter, but no one had seen Persephone. Finally, Demeter turned to Apollo, the sun god, for help. Nothing escaped his searching eyes. Yes, I have seen Persephone. She was lured away by Hades deep into the shadows of the underworld. Will I ever see her again? She is in great peril, Demeter. If she eats any food or drinks any water from the underworld, she will never be able to leave. Unaware of her mother's grief, Persephone was filled with the excitement of her new adventure. She was too young to know that many great adventures also hold great dangers, and that danger was very close to her now. So, the daughter of Demeter is down here. How convenient. Well, what do you think of my kingdom, Persephone? Well, it is a bit gloomy. Perhaps you can brighten it up. Why, yes, I could. A little brightening is all it really needs. It's something my mother taught me. <gasps> Don't be afraid. It's been a long time since I've seen so much light and beauty. Stop it! No one pleasant will come visit here if you keep snarling like that. That's better. <gasps> I'll need some soil and water to keep these fresh. There's fresh water down here, isn't there? Yes, there's a river down that cave there. But you, you mustn't... We must have something good to eat. Doesn't anything grow down here? Well, yes. But you shouldn't eat it. Because... Because why? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. should have told her. I'll tell her now. Persephone, wait! So, daughter of Demeter, you are in my world now. For so many years I have thirsted for revenge, and now I will take it. Excuse me, which way is it to the river? Thank you, you're very kind. What luck, your majesty! She is about to drink from Levi, the river of forgetfulness. One sip, and she will forget about the world above. Then she will be yours alone until the end of time. Stop! Don't drink it! This water is not good. We'll find some fresher water. 
Well, I I'm very thirsty. And hungry, too. I I've eaten all the food I brought from home. I'm afraid I have nothing prepared. I'll have something made at once. All these flowers! This old organ hasn't played in years! I summoned a zephyr to blow through the pipes. And now, the room just needs one more thing. Whatever it is, I'll get it for you. The room needs a smile. From you. A smile? What's that? <laughs> this is a smile. I don't know how. Oh, yes you do. See? You have a very nice smile. One bite of this meal and you're here forever. You'll meet the same fate your mother gave to me. What are you doing? <laughs> Dancing! But I don't know how to dance. I'll show you. <laughs> Your hands are warmer now. They were so cold before. Yes, they are. <laughs> Something to eat, Your Majesty? Persephone? Well, thank you. I'm starving. Mm. No, I can't allow this. You are too good a person to be tricked like this. What? What's going on? If you eat or drink anything in the underworld, you will never be able to go back to the world uh, of the living. You were very noble to tell me this. I want you to stay because you wish to. Thank you. Zeus! Zeus! Demeter! Well, you look terrible! What has happened to you, my sister? Hades has tricked my daughter into joining him in the underworld. Well, let's see how she's doing. <laughs> it doesn't look to me like she's being held against her will. Why? Why? How could she leave me? You should have allowed her to grow and become independent. If she wants to return to you, she must do so on her own. Then I will take my revenge upon the Earth. If I must suffer, then the world will suffer with me! North Wind, cover the earth with ice and snow. Let not a blade of grass show through! In less than a day, the entire world had been covered by a freezing blanket of ice and snow. There was no food or warmth, and the people grew cold and hungry. One, two, three, one. Two, three. Ah, the underworld is a very different place with Persephone here. I've never felt so happy. She has to eat sometime. Aren't you worried about her leaving? I'll send a minion to bring food from the overworld. But there is no food up there. Their mother has covered the world with ice and snow. Oh, mother, I do miss you. You see? Soon she will want to leave. May I come in? Yes? What's the matter? I never realized until now how much I love my mother. I, I even miss her nagging me to comb my hair and, and pick up the leaves in the garden. I can cheer you up. It's not enough? Oh, they're beautiful. But all the gems in the world cannot replace the love my mother had. Tomorrow I will finish the garden I started for you, and then I must go home. It breaks my heart to see her cry, but I do wish she would stay. I think I know a way. How? Don't even consider trickery. Trickery? Me? Of course not. Her mother did a favor for me once, and I'd like to return it. Ah. Just leave it to me, your majesty. Very well. Do what you can. Oh yes, if I have my way, Persephone will never again see the light of day. <laughs> Persephone now realized that her mother's protectiveness had come from a great love for her. As Persephone prepared to return home, she was unaware of the trap that was being set. This will be the most beautiful garden of all. It will always remind Hades of the time we spent together. How sweet. Oh. Hey, 
know I planted pomegranate seeds? They were a gift from me. I noticed a pomegranate necklace around your neck. You must like them. They're my favorite food in the whole world. Really? You must be very hungry. Why not take a bite? No. I can't eat the food of the underworld, or, or I'll be trapped here forever. Here, at least taste these tiny seeds. Altogether, they don't even add up to a full bite. How much harm can a few tiny seeds do? No! Take it away! Very well. <sighs> Goodbye, Persephone. I will miss you. I would give my kingdom to have you stay. Please, just a smile before I go. I can't. You see, I've forgotten already. You must remember, for our sake. I thought you said... Don't worry. Herpes! What are you doing? Leave her alone! She has my permission to leave the underworld. Why is this happening? What have I done wrong? You have eaten the food of the underworld. Some of the seeds are missing. But I only ate three little seeds. Three is enough. According to the law, you can never leave the Dark Kingdom now. I said no trickery. How dare you disobey me? But now she will stay with you forever. I... I thought it would please you. It pleases me to send you to the depths of the earth! <laughs> Zeus was right. What am I doing? It is my fault that Persephone ran away. If I could just see her and tell her I'm sorry. I shouldn't have held her back the way I did. <laughs> mother! Mother! Uh, I'm all right! I'm here! Oh, please! Can I go to her for just a day or two, even an hour, so I can ease her pain? Can't you see how much she needs me? I also need you. More than I ever thought possible. But you were right when you said that love changes people. My chariot! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Can you do it? There's only one way to find out. Hold on! Away, you beasts! Cerberus! <laughs> Have listened to you. No, no, it was my fault. I should have given you more freedom. But are you free now? No one has ever been released from the underworld before. Yes, she is free. I care for her too much to keep her against her will. I ask only one thing Persephone has eaten three pomegranate seeds from the underworld. I would like her to return for three months out of every year. Three months, but she is a grown woman now. She must make her own decisions. I happily agree. For three months every year, we will laugh and dance and sing. And when you leave me, I will always have the memory of you here in my heart. <sighs> Everyone needs to find their own way in the world, but it can be dangerous if caution and common sense are not heeded in the exploration. For that reason, Persephone learned to appreciate her mother's advice and value it. Persephone kept her promise and did return to the underworld for three months of every year, which is why winter comes and during that time, nothing will grow.
like Demeter, we look forward to the time when Persephone comes home. When the warmth and color of spring spreads across the land and all of us celebrate the return of life.